So the flip side, though, I'm interested to get your opinion on this and what you see. Um, we see a lot of on our end trying to educate, implement um, cybersecurity services, and on the other side of the table, people just don't have the ap- appetite to, to spend the money. And so communicating, you know, the risk reward um, scenario has been, I don't know, is that fair to say a challenge? And people don't know how to price it. They're like, okay, well, if I spend this amount of money, what kind of protection do I get? Does that really cover me? Like, where does it end? Almost. So I don't know if you had some thoughts on that and some in some of your businesses, like how you guys approach it. It's, it's hard, I guess, because you're selling something that doesn't really have an ROI. Yeah. Uh, it's not a revenue generating thing. It's just a cost. It's yeah. a bit like insurance, but everyone's happy to have insurance, mm. right? And I think it'll just get to the point where they have to. And certainly the customers that we sell into and, and Lumify is primarily um, selling into enterprise and government, their boards know that they have a duty uh, to their shareholders to do this stuff. And mm. if not, they'll when, when they inevitably get hacked or inevitably there is an incident, they'll be in the line of fire. So, mm. so that comes down mandated from a board level. Uh, and now we're seeing legislation, right? And it's the same reason that we see, I guess, a lot of forms of insurance. It's either legislation or contractually obliged to have it if you want to be in business with other, with other companies or with the government. And so I think that will just inevitably become a part of a feature and a cost that everyone has to wear. But yeah, until then, there's a bit of an education uh, platform to do.